The Wolf Pit, Bacon Cheddar, Patty Mega Meal. And I heard um, Mr. Wolf Pit wasn't doing too good. I hope he's um, all right. He's dealing with some stuff. <clears throat> I hope he's uh, hanging in there. He's doing all right. So, let's check this out. Bacon Cheddar. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Wolf Pit with another episode of What Are We Eating? I watched one of these in a while. Today, I'm going to be trying Banquet Mega Meals Bacon Cheddar Patty that consists of two Salisbury patties made with chicken, oh, that's pork, the, and beef, smothered the in a cheddar they, cheese they, sauce, garlic and bacon, me. Had me. and paired with a side of seasoned potato wedge fries. Might be good, though. This meal weighs in at 11.5 ounces and costs $3.12. Realistically, there's nothing really mega or colossal about 10.5 ounces. Especially when the competitors like Hungry Man, Boston Market, and Marie Calendars are already at 16 ounces. Oh, yeah. But hey, in this day and age, you can identify as an attack helicopter if you want to, and it's accepted. <laughs> it's an attack helicopter. No, about that. <clears throat> He's funny. Um, the difference between the banquet and um, the Hungry Man and uh, we said something else. Boston Market, or used to be, it's not Boston Market anymore. It's, uh, or it's not Boston Chicken anymore, it's Boston Market. Um, the banquet ones, they're usually the cheaper. Actually, Mission Leaders are the cheapest. So, Banquet, yeah, Banquet is the second cheapest. But, yeah, um, Banquet is cheaper than the other ones because the Hungry Man's, aren't, aren't they like, Almost five, six dollars a piece. Yeah, but yeah, you had me with the um the patties. That's this. It's the Salisbury stick. This one just looks <clears throat> like it's grilled. Um, but yeah, um, banquets are usually the cheaper ones because other stuff is <clears throat> them hungry man's. Yeah, about yeah, about it's close to almost six six bucks a piece. So who am I to say if this is a mega? Now meal Ramsey got dinners too. But it is okay for Banquet to have an opinion and say there's mega flavor and the two large Salisbury steak patties, the barbecue cheddar cheese sauce and bacon, and the seasoned potato wedge fries. Out of 51 reviews, the Banquet Mega Bacon Cheddar Patty Mega Meal received 3.7 stars out of 5. Mm. The most helpful positive review gave it 5 stars and said it was really good. The most helpful negative review said Salisbury steak in name only. And mm. at first, I was going to be harsh on Angel and ask what he or she was smoking. <laughs> because I think there may be a language barrier here. But it even got more confusing when they said, if Cheap you sauce. check the ingredients of the patty, the first is chicken, then water, then pork, and then steak. Well, there is no steak, it's beef. Then they go on to say the cooked patty actually has a pork after taste. Mm. Oh, actually, never mind. I'm the idiot. Now I get it. They said the cooked patty has a pork aftertaste. Duh, I'm the one that doesn't understand English. If you're watching this video, Angel 2020, my apologies. Here's the list of ingredients, and nothing says high quality, highly processed foods like an ingredient list as long as the Bible. And don't forget about the TVP, also known as Textured Vegetable Protein. TVP? Mm. The serving size is the whole container, which has Woo! 260 calories, 34 grams of total fat, 12 grams of saturated fat, a half a gram of trans fat, 85 milligrams of sodium, 15 per, I mean, 280 milligrams of sodium, 38 grams of carbohydrates, 4 grams of fiber, 8 grams of sugars, and 23 grams of protein. And just like they always do, Banquet lets you know that their meals have been proudly made in the USA since 1953. Mm. You can cook these meals in the microwave oven or the conventional oven. And with me being the big spender <laughs> I am, or you, the people, I'm going to do one each way. Because isn't that the right thing to do nowadays, to go both ways? I don't know. Don't judge me. I'm just here for the <coughs> I'm, I'm loving God. So the directions kind of don't sort of make sense to me. 
The microwave says to remove the film over the potatoes, but then on the other directions, it says just to slip the film over the potatoes. Hmm. Like I said, I'm just here for the party, but it seems like it would be more beneficial than getting crispier potatoes if you would take the film off the potatoes on each cooking method. But who am I? I'm just some schmo going to the Big D and I don't mean Dallas. So here's her. Time to dance. The sun is shining, it's a beautiful day. Wake up, sleepy head. So here's our banquet. Bacon cheddar patty mega meal right out of the freezer and right out of the box. And now here it is after we removed the film from over the potatoes and microwaved on high for six and a half minutes. As we removed the plastic, I was really shocked at the baby poop orange color it was. Unfortunately, there was no aroma of baby poop. Unfortunately, there was a sweet, sweet aroma of artificial bacon. So we cut off a piece of our four beef slurry concocted beef patty with our cheesy barbecue bacon sauce. <laughs> <laughs> the baby poop. It made me think about something I was watching, and the guy said, "He's like, I'm not about to eat that. It was, it, it was in my brother's diapers." And I was like, "Yeah, it's, it's, it's some of the stuff looks, <clears throat> some of the stuff looks that bad, but I still say, nothing, 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 will, will, will beat that look of tuna and cold beans. But we'll see." I hold and down the dollar it went. That's delicious. You know what it tastes like? Hey, that was correct. If you weren't able to hear me, I said that the beef patty and the cheese sauce tasted like air. Pretty much, it tasted like nothing. Wow. Nothing? I'm not joking around. Either I've lost all sense of taste or these beef patties and cheese sauce have absolutely no flavor. So next I tried what Banquet calls a seasoned potato wedge fry. <laughs> I would either call them seasoned potatoes or seasoned potato wedges, or seasoned potato fries, or seasoned fries. Mm. But either way, into the old pile, do that some good stuff. The way. And not surprisingly, they weren't crispy or crunchy whatsoever. However, they were pretty darn good. Cooked perfectly without being mushy, and they were seasoned nicely with the perfect amount of salt, pepper, and other si and other spices. Mm. So now we went in for the obligatory bite of everything the beef patty with the barbecue cheese bacon sauce and the seasoned potato wedge fries. And it was really strange. The only flavor to speak of was from the potatoes with a slight hint of bacon flavor from the imitation bacon. The one thing I did forget to mention was that the texture from the four meat slurry concoction patty wasn't too bad at all. And here was a surprise to me. I was able to convince my new camera girl who doesn't eat garbage food like this, <coughs> to try it. <coughs> For you, the people, so you don't have to. And she reluctantly obliged. And from the look on her face, and how fast that bite went from the inside of her mouth to the inside of a napkin, that's probably not going to happen again. Mm. Now here's our second beef patty meal after baking in a 350 degree oven for 35 minutes. And at least the baby poop orange isn't nearly as bright this time. <laughs> so he went in to try potato first this time. And still, for the life of me, I don't know why Banquet decided to leave the plastic over the potatoes in the oven. That just creates steam versus uncovering them to crisp them up. So into the old pie hole and down the gullet it went. And once again, even though the potatoes weren't crispy or crunchy, they were still pretty darn good and very well seasoned. Now for reasons I don't know, we flipped and flopped and flopped and flipped the flavorless patties around in the flavorless sauce to give them a good coating. From the experience with the first meal, I knew for a fact it wasn't going to do any good. But I did it anyway, for you, the people. And then we cut off a piece of the flavorless for me slurry concocted patty. And then last but not least, into the old pie hole and down the gullet it went. And it was no difference than the first time. It was like eating air. Very delicious air, I may add. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Air can't be delicious, and delicious can't be air. But I hope 
you to meet for a second. Oh, I'm about to say, mixing it together. That's for shits and giggles, we needed to take one last bite of everything, just to say we did it. It's like comforting something you know you shouldn't even be doing in the first place. The saving grace of this meal was the potatoes, which is why so the potatoes is better than the meat. That's some beef patty mega meal, a two out of ten. Thank you all very much for watching. That's bad. And I'll see you soon. <coughs> Two out of ten. Yeah, that's real low. That must be garbage. But um, banquet does make the good or uh, make good stuff like um, the uh, steak and potatoes. I mean um, Salisbury steak and gravy. You can just mash potatoes and some rice and some vegetables, <clears throat> and then here's your dinner. And they had the um, the pork ribs. Make a sandwich out of them, and then um, the fried chicken. I know I had some folks. <clears throat> they wanted some uh, churches or something, and um, I'm travel. I'm traveling light, so I went and got that chick that uh, banquet chicken box. <laughs> it's talking about the chicken. The, the chicken tastes funny. It only tastes funny to me. So I found fix. Found a way to fix it. It was all right. So, but yeah. They make um some good stuff. Um the chicken nuggets, they're alright. Um they used to have they don't sell them anymore. Um the chicken um they used to have like the tr the drumsticks or uh, the, the, the fried drumsticks frozen. They don't carry they don't sell those no more for some reason. And um yeah. I think they had the regular chicken and they had the spicy. Or something like that. Yeah, some of the blood of the or a lot of the banquet stuff is usually pretty good. Even like the little um pasta and meatball things. I ain't seen those in a long time, but yeah. But he said two out of ten. That must be uh stinking garbage. <laughs> That's bad. Real bad.